Good move, and Cohen's out wide, and he's going to lose another one because here comes Finland then. William Alatello comes up on the outside line as they head for the wet part, weaving from one side of the road to the other. Finland tries to go right round the outside there. Alatello is ahead, but he's on the wrong line. Has he got the drive off the corner? They are wheel to wheel going into turn nine now. Out of view, back into sight, still side by side. Alatello forced up the curb, stands his ground. He's on the inside line for turn 10. Finland versus Israel. Finland goes ahead. Here comes Australia. Going to lose two places, and he has. And that just shows just one little error, and that was the error at the restart has led to Cohen losing probably losing five places now. So that's been a disastrous restart for Israel. Absolutely, the car tumbles down the order, and we're not done yet with the shuffling, are we? No, and once out of position, you're completely at the mercy of those around you. So a disaster for Ido Cohen, who was really a star all the way through until Rosso took the lead. Uh, coming through turn 14 just before we had that safety car intervention. That safety car period did not help him at all. It might have put him on the back of Italy, but it put him more vulnerable. Last lap of the F4 Cup main race for the medals here in the FIA Motorsport Games. Italy, Germany, Finland on to the last lap. Fastest lap, Italy. But absolutely charging now is Germany to bring down the gap. But it's 1.3 seconds. That's too much, surely, on the last lap, unless Italy's tyres suddenly go away. Oh! There's drama there. Down towards turn four. That's Japan. That's is out of the race. Yes, that's out of the race, but the race will be green all the way through. The car is sufficiently far off the racetrack down on turn four. First time we've seen an incident of that nature mm. uh, in any of the events so far, so indicates. But there is our race leader, almost serene. Let's look again what happened. Japan just got wrong footed. The car came across quite legitimately. Japan just over expected what they could get out of that position. And actually, although we've had the old spin, we've not had any silly driving no. from these young guys in F4. It's been really good, competitive, combative racing, and we're not done yet because the order is still being traded. And the one that's possibly got a problem more than just tyres is Ido Cohen because he is falling down the order. There was an incident between uh, Japan and Israel being looked at because it was Israel that was hit by Japan in that incident we've just seen. Here is Italy into turn 11. Andrea Rosso then. This could be the absolutely perfect way to win a gold medal. For one, you take the race win and you get the fastest lap and you do it on home soil. Very impressive drive, but look at Croyton for Germany bringing down the gap behind him. It was 1.3 seconds. He's not going to challenge at the line, but he's going to be close as Andrea Rosso then, the Italian driver, looks after the tyres, drove very intelligently. The gold medal should be his. Checkered flag at the ready, and the Formula 4 Cup main race is won by Italy. Germany second. Finland is going to take third as Rosso, Croyton and Alitalo come across the line in that order. And Australia, who just needs fourth, ahead of uh, fifth, going to be France. And Bellinger is sixth, the Spanish lady sixth at the end of a really good race.